Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the career mode of Chivas. And today we're playing our first game against Leon. So Guadalajara versus Leon. Right here, they got an opportunity. Pacota with a great save there. Uh, doing pretty good. Then Chapito Montes right here passes over to Chaton. Basulto gets, uh, gets a penalty for Leon. Right here, Cota couldn't save that one. And um, the great striker of Leon managed to score that. Boselli managed to score that goal. Um, a penalty. So I think it was the hardest game I ever played on the Liga MX against Leon. They were a pretty good team, a kind of hard team to beat. So Mauro Boselli with that first goal right here, guys. And then, guys, I decided to make two changes Jose David Ramirez and Giovanni Hernandez to the field to try and do something. Uh, more important with them and hopefully they could get me a goal but then they get this goal once again Mauro Bocelli is not gonna miss that one uh, my defense just does not do good and they managed to score that two zero goal guys so Bocelli managed to score then Omar Bravo right here looks for the pass for Cisneros and Cisneros didn't get to that one then once again Leo managed to get another penalty guys right here Dedos Lopez with a bad tackle they did a counter on me so I decided to slide tackle and managed to get a penalty for them but then right here Morales gonna, was gonna shoot this one Bacota with that great save saving Chivas from another goal to make it 2-0 only and not taking a very bad um, loss here but look at that from Cota saving Chivas once again Cota gets the ball on that corner kick the game comes to an end guys so we did manage to lose that game our next game guys was gonna be against La Maquina del Cruz Azul versus Chivas and I was playing in attacking mentality guys right here right here once again Trophies Lopez looks for a cut, cut inside he gets this opportunity, but Dominguez with a very good uh, defending there, guys. And then they get this kind of counterattack with Rojas. Hits the bar. Not a problem for Chivas. Duenas loses the ball again. Chavez gets the ball back. Passes back to Benitez. Benitez shoots. Cota managed to save that one. And our defense is going to start playing after that. Then, guys, in the second half, a nice pass to Chofis Lopez. Chofi Lopez takes out Santos. He does another cut inside, and he's going to put that one in the back of the net. Not a problem to make it 1-0, guys, in the second half. And Chofis Lopez is scoring that goal, guys. Um, to all of you guys that want to start playing with him, he got upgraded from a 59 to a 64 actually and I think his potential is on 75 currently from EA so you guys want to start a new career uh, and use trophies he's now a 64 rated guys so right here guys the game comes to an end and we did manage to pick up the victory I decided to ask for 2 million for Chivas um, for they could get me to sign new players see if they accept so our next game guys was gonna be against Monarcas Morelia versus Guadalajara in their stadium play a little bit more attacky because I found out after the I played this game that EA did a new patch on the game that I wasn't loving so I kind of started playing ultra attacking so kind of play like I used to right here Miguel Ponce to Orbelin Orbelin is gonna shoot that one and that's gonna be a first goal for Chivas versus Morelia so Orbelin scoring that goal against Morelia not a problem for him right here we see Miguel Ponce once again cuts outside inside and then he or Berlin just shoots and scores that goal uh, if you guys want to do that celebration of uh, kind of like the or Berlin I think it's you hold LT and just uh, do from right do a circle on the thumbstick and I think he does the flip uh, for those you know and then Chofis Lopez right here cuts inside cuts outside and he takes out the defender and then the goalkeeper to make it a 2 0 guys so what a goal from trophies i think to be a 62 rated where i have him is pretty good for me um if you guys like i said guys he got upgraded so you guys want to play with that new upgrade version of javier eduardo lopez you guys should 
Um, I think he did got a more more speed on him. They did update update him because uh, how speed he, how much he runs. Where we see these great goals from Pellerano from Monarcas to make it a two one guys. So two one right here. Pellerano managed to score that that one goal to make it two one, and they're getting close to kind of get get that equalizer, which we don't want that guys, and we want to do something to do it so um i decided to bring in torres guys i'm sorry my footage kind of got lost of the sub so i'm sorry about that right here they get that crossbar but not a problem then eric torres passes to orbelin orbelin sees torres looking for the pass and then he just gonna finish that one and torres is gonna be scoring that goal guys so Eric Torres scoring that 3-1 guys and I think this is a guarantee win. We go we're gonna be taking those three points uh to put us up in the table and on playoffs um zone. So that will be great ones. Once we see the replay once again of Eric El Cubo Torres scoring that goal. So here we go guys. Uh Monarcas kicked off. The game does end guys and Right here we had a message that Chivas accepted the two million uh, they want to give us for a transfer. So that's a good they did accept it. So we're gonna take those two million guys. And I actually went and tried to sign Angeles Pulivera since that was the only player um some of you guys actually requested. Um you guys also requested Alan Polito, but he was too much money. They wanted like four million to three million uh, on him. So um, as Pili, uh, as Puliveda did accept that, and he's gonna be playing the first game against Puebla, and he actually can play as a as a left mid, right mid, or striker. Uh, so we're gonna probably use him a lot as a right mid, all right here, and right now because we have Angel Saldivar, Eric Torres, and other strikers that could get that chance right here. Duenas with this great pass, what a mess there from Orbelin did not manage to score that one. And then Orbelin right here passes to Omar Bravo. Omar Bravo is going to put it inside of the net to make it a 1-0, guys. Omar Bravo to celebrate with his teammates, guys. Right there we see the great Eric Torres um, celebrating, guys, the whole team. And that's going to be a 1-0 in favor of Chivas. So let's look at that replay once again, guys. The ball gets to Orbelin. Orbelin sees Omar Bravo. Omar Bravo is going to put it inside of the net. And I believe that's going to be the first goal of Omar Bravo in the Clausura tournament. And then right here, guys, Torres passes to Perez. Perez with a cross. And then Pitu Cejas with that great goal to make the equalizer, guys. And remind you guys, Chivas plays versus Puebla tomorrow. So hopefully Chivas could pick up a win tomorrow. Um, and right here, guys, you see the goal of Pitu Cejas once again. Omaro Cejas. This. Pitu Cejas is just his nickname, guys. So right here, guys, we got another opportunity with the spell of Veda. Takes out some of the defenders. He's going to put that in the back of the net. Not a problem to make it a 2 0. It's Puli Veda, first goal with the Chivas team, and he's going to. And scored that guys and before we talk about uh Spooly Veda guys uh there was been uh rumors that Chivas is looking uh like Chivas is following Tigres players in the midfield so I don't know who are they following but there has been a rumor about that guys and they said that Aquino is not really happy of Chivas uh, on uh, being interested on him so I don't know I don't know we're gonna I'm gonna try and follow that and see where it takes it, if it's true or if it's just a rumor, guys. So right here, Valdez with the ball passes to Torres, and Torres managed to score the equalizer, guys, 2-2, and the game was, once again, a equalizer game. So Valdez, yes, guys, like I said, I've been hurting those rumors, so we'll see what happens. It's that time, guys, it's that time, you know, ar um, around May, around April, um, the rumor starts uh, start starting because the Liga MX ends on uh, around May and you know teams are just starting looking for new players and the draft I believe is on June if I'm not mistaken right here they actually managed to score 
the three two guys and we were losing but yeah guys so i will be looking at that and also there's been a rumor about marches into america but uh Marchesin already said that he doesn't want to play in america so we'll see if he ends up going or not and right there guys that replay of francisco torres go and we were losing three two guys so right here with a saldivar she's right here the great pass to spuliveda he takes out that defender. He's going to finish uh, all alone in the area. No one came to him. So that's going to be a equalizer. 3-3 three, three guys. And what a go from Espeliveda. And what a debut also from Espeliveda. Making two goals in his debut match guys against Puebla. So hopefully we could see Chivas winning tomorrow guys. We really would be nice. That would almost get us to qualification. If some, if some other teams lose, lose and Chivas wins, we could even get into qualification. And then after that, it's El Clasico Tapatio uh, next week. So that would be great, guys. So our next games, guys, I have to play with uh, uh, with some of my subs. Uh, like uh, we put Tonio Rodriguez and go because it was a game um, in the weekend. So we played this game. I think it was on a Tuesday. The last game we played on a, on a Sunday. So we were playing with my some of my subs. Carlos Salcido with this finish, uh, he hits the post, and then right here Dorados with a chance and Basulto, the uh, really good defending. Then right here Giovanni Hernandez with this goal, guys, to make it a one zero. And there's a lot of I don't know. I think there's a lot of hate on him, guys, around Chivas. And the thing is that um, if you guys remember where. Um, Hernandez, they're so good with Chivas. It was with John Van, uh, Van Chip. And that was because John Van Chip uh, used to play a 4-3-3 and CM. And he's more of a center mid than a center defensive mid where uh, Almeida puts, uh, put him to play and Chip pull, pull him to play. So I think he's a good footballer. It's just that, you know, it just I think the, we just need to ha have patience with him. Um, a lot of people say that he's, he doesn't deserve to be in Chivas, but I don't know, man. Uh, he proved pre, he proved that he was a pretty good player uh, when he was playing with John Van Skip. And I don't think you forget how to play football, uh, you know. In that game, guys, we did manage to win 1-0. A lot of you guys asked me if I train my players. Yes, I do train them, guys. I just simulate them, you know, because uh, sometimes, I don't know, like the train. I did a lot of training. It gets boring in some time, so... I do train them. I just simulate. These are the players I usually train. Bravo, Ramirez, Cisneros, Lopez, and Orbelin. Uh, like you guys can see. But I, ho I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this episode, guys. Like you guys can see, we'll be facing the um, Veracruz next time. And we are in 7th place in the playoffs table zone. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Adios. Now I can see my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for